What is going on, YouTube fam? Mikey here shooting another hi adventure video. We have to set the frog gigging pole right there and get the boots on. Y'all, I was just down at our creek. I was getting ready to head down with Miss Bella. How are you doing, Bella? Hello. I had just gone down to the creek and I was in my flip flops. Now, rule number one here in the South, uh, if you're on any water, especially back like here in woods, uh, that is just a stupid move. Um, and I almost paid for it. We were getting ready to go down and hunt some minnows. And I literally was about two steps away from stepping on a copperhead snake. Now this is kind of crazy. It's actually been about a year since I saw the last copperhead down here, just along our property here. All right, Bella. Bella, what I want you to do is I want you to stay here, okay? Papa's got his boots on. I'm gonna go down and see if I can find out where this guy is. Oh, here he is. Yeah, he's right over here. Right over here. All right, Bella, come on down. You want to come down and see him? You see him right there? Mm -hmm. See that? That's what we always stay away from. You can see the distinct Hershey pattern signs on the side. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that scary looking? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why we always have our boots on and why we always wait for Papa or Mama to come down here, right? Now, this is a pretty average sized one as well. Uh, probably about two feet long and they'll get up to like five five feet five six feet but uh, this is about from what I understand about two to three feet is about average what you see with these copperheads and this is why I say when I tell you and Crockett you guys don't go down to the creek without us and that's why Papa keeps this area clean down here or as clean as he can so then that way I can see stuff like that uh, and it's not like hiding in all the weeds and the leaves and stuff like that. So I wouldn't have accidentally stepped on it. Fortunately, I was down here about a month ago and I cleaned up all these leaves and stuff that were down here. If I hadn't have done that, I don't think I would have seen that, that snake. And Papa should have had his boots on. Papa knows better than that. So obviously there are a lot of people that like, you know, don't like to eat snakes and stuff like that. A lot of people have snakes as pets, but you know, I mean, this is literally right in my backyard. This guy could slither right up in the backyard. I have a two year old, I have a five year old and uh you know we're not gonna we're not gonna let this snake just hang out back here plus the last time i ate a copperhead it was good in fact i actively look for these snakes um when i'm back here especially this time of year these copperheads are out and about they're on the move and uh, they're out during the day before it gets too hot then they predominantly come out at night so we just got lucky just got lucky and uh found us a nice little copperhead here i think we're gonna try frying up some steak what do you think bella that sound good? Is that pretty cool? That's... you never seen one before? What do you think? Is that pretty cool? Yeah, that is pretty cool, huh? That's awesome. Let's try some snake today. Ready. Ready. Ooh, take it off. Can you get him? Oh, I'll get him. He's a fast little guy. Yeah, he is fast, isn't he? Look how he blends in. Look at that. Look how he just blends in with all the leaves and stuff. That's why we got to keep this area back here clean. Got to keep it clean because he just blends right in. Oh. Look at that. He's shaking his tail. Oh, he just bit the camera. Woo. Man, look at that. When he's absolutely still, it would almost be impossible to see him and all the dried leaves and stuff. You'd see him, but it'd probably be too late. Y'all check that out. Look at that. He's like, he's got venom on the camera there. See like right on the front there, right there. Woo. Ooh, gnarly little dude. Come here, you. Come on. I had him, I had him. Here we go, come on. There we go, we got him. Whoop, whoop. All right. Look at that. Woo. We ain't in Idaho anymore. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Isn't, that. isn't that cool? It like rattles. Well, that's good to know. I didn't know they rattled their Yeah. That's a good thing to know. 
I tell you what, I'm glad I cleaned all that up down there this spring. You want to see the snake? Yeah, I won't. I won't let her get near. Poppy, look at that. What do you think, Poppy? What do you think? Y'all, actually, we have our kitty. Now, no, Poppy, stay back. Stay back. See the snakey? Poppy. <laughs> Sorry, Poppy. <laughs> no, you're good. Poppy will actually find the snakes and the lizards. She's kind of like a guard cat. Um, we've had her, like, when we go down to the creek and stuff, she'll be pulling out, like, typically it's just, like, water snakes and garden snakes and stuff like that. She hasn't found a copperhead yet. But she'll totally, like, she, I, I kind of like having her out because she'll find that stuff. You know, she'll find a snake like this uh before before any of the kids will and uh unfortunately i don't know how it'd go for her against uh against a copperhead but she's brought us plenty of headless uh headless garden snakes before and set them on the front stoop so got a little guard cat time to go ahead and get this snake we'll go ahead and kill it right there pretty cool huh bella now we got our first copperhead together. Good I job. I don't know what's on his tail. You know, I think the last one that I killed, you guys were gone. You were at the store or something like that. So that's pretty cool that we got to do that together. That's our first hunt. Maybe one of these days what we'll do is uh, I'll give you the frog gig and spear and uh, you can spear him yourself when you're a little bit older. What do you think? Yeah, I can be like six. There you go, like six, there you go. We'll let you get a little older and then uh, we'll, have, uh, we'll have the next generation catching and cooking copperheads. That'd be awesome. Oh. Here goes my son, just woke up from a nap. Hey, Crockett. Crockett, look at the snake, you don't hey. crack it. We don't touch him, but look at that, that's a copperhead. Yeah. Whoa, isn't that pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Now he's still alive, so we don't touch him, okay? You can come over and look at him. He's on, a, he's on the spear. You can't see his teeth. They're very small. Yeah, he's got two fangs in there. What do you think, Mr. C? Good. Good? I don't think you've ever seen a copperhead before, have you? Wait, no, you saw the one last year, Papa got. Baby snake. Yeah, baby snake. Yeah, see how he's still alive? See how he's still moving? See how that tail's shaking right there? Yeah. Yeah, that's why we do not touch him. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. There you go, there you go. Head off from there? Yeah, I'll chop the head off from there. So Whoa, look at you go, hey, 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 hey. High five, high five, well done. Look at us, man, we just hunting in the back. Listen to yeah, good job, baby. Have fun. Drive safe. All right, y'all, we're going to head down the creek and first see if we see any more copperheads. I wouldn't mind adding to it, but I also want to try to get a water snake here. Yeah. Having only been in the south for about a year now, a little over a year, um, I got confused because I saw these, they're like, they're like, north american water snakes or something like that and they're very similar they're very they're a very orange color and they have very similar markings along the side and at first i thought it was a copperhead and there was a lot of debate in a video and in an instagram post that i made about what type of snake it was so what i'm kind of hoping to see is if maybe we can go up this creek here and uh find a water snake and we can kind of do a side by side comparison you know normally when i go hunt these creeks I'm always like looking along the edges and in the water. I don't oftentimes look up here, but that's twice now I have found the copperheads not in like next to the water. They're up on these flats. I need to be looking on these flats more. Who knows how many snakes maybe I've potentially missed because I'm thinking, hey, they're going to be down by the water cooling themselves, right? Not necessarily. Ooh, spiders are coming out too. Good grief. Got to watch out for the webs. But made a facial right into a big spider web. You'll hear High Adventure scream like a little girl if that happens. Okay, you guys aren't going to be able to see this, but there are water snakes. I see two heads sticking out from under this concrete pad right down here. There's no way they're going to come out, but I see them back there. <sighs> Too far back up in there. There's probably a whole den of them under this thing. Look in the trees here, see if anybody's curled up in the tree. They like to hang out in the trees and then they'll drop into the water. Kind of at the end of the road here. Let's turn around and go down the creek. I almost called this a river. It's crazy 
the amount of stuff that you find around any kind of body of water here in the south. I mean, it was like three, four weeks ago, I found a snapping turtle in this creek. So far we found two copperheads and a snapping turtle, and I've seen countless water snakes in this creek. Um, haven't seen a lot of frogs, which kind of surprises me. Like I see little frogs, but not like big bullfrogs. Thought I heard something over here in the weed. Well, there's a basketball. Hey, on this episode of Crazy Things We Find in the Creek, Micah discovers a basketball. Get rid of that big old spider's web right there. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, guys, there is a big old frog right down there. And here I am talking about, I've, ne I, I've never caught, well, I've never caught frogs. I've never caught frogs in this creek. And a lass and a lad. That's an eaten sized bullfrog. That's a healthy little toady. First off, let's grab this basketball right here. It says SOP on it. No idea what that means. It's like a girl sized ball. Man, I tell you what, if they had let me play with a girl sized ball in high school, man, I would have balled out. Instead, I had to use a regulation sized basketball, which is dumb. Pfft, baby mitts couldn't do anything with that. It is a nice sized bullfrog. Oh shoot! Oh man! I didn't expect him to run, dude! Oh man! That dude knew he was on the menu. He's like, not tonight. I thought I thought he'd feel pretty safe up in that cubby. I thought he was just gonna let me. I thought he was just gonna let me get a clean shot at him. I thought he thinks he's hiding. And I'm gonna just pop him real quick, but sneaky little devil. I see wait, 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 there's something up there. It's either a big lizard or a snake. Oh, it's a big old lizard. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Wait, is that like a salamander or something like that? Look at that thing. Oh, there he goes. Dang it. That got me excited. I thought, yes, we found one. Now. Oh, wait, guys. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at big bat black snake. There's a big old black snake right here. Check this out. Ooh, look at this guy. I'll go three feet. Look at that, he's shaking his tail too. Look at that. It's just a black snake, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Whoa, man, all the snakes are out today. Ooh, snakes are coming out. Look at that thing. These guys will eat the rodents and the bu big bugs and stuff like that. So we don't mind having these guys around, but look at this. It's doing like the same thing. Like shaking that tail. Whoa. Oh, look, look how fast that is. Whoo. He is fast. There he. Oh, that was quick. I don't want to kill the black snakes. I, if I'm not mistaken, too, the black snakes, they might even eat the copperheads. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I do know that they'll eat the mice and stuff. So. We leave those guys alone. They uh, they clean up the critters, so I don't mind that. I mean, copperheads clean up the critters too, but you know, if you get bit by a black snake, you don't have the possibility of dying, unlike a copperhead. All right, it is time to clean some snake. Now this guy's still moving. I have actually like speared it several times in the back of the head. Um, I have tried drowning it. Uh, and as you can see, there seems to be quite a bit of life in it. The one thing I do know, though, to make us safe is to take the head off. So, very quickly, just... So, we've got the head still attached to the spear. So, we'll just go ahead and... Go ahead. T. Okay, <laughs> I set that off to the side. And then, this is actually a pretty simple process. Just start down at the vent of the snake. And you just cut up. And this guy's going to move, I guarantee it. There we go, just like that. There we go. Take him down to the creek, get all the guts out. All the little crawdads in this creek are gonna love me. Like, hallelujah. Should be enough there to fry up. There we go. The body cavity's all cleaned out. There'll be enough there to fry up and see, uh, see what little copperhead tastes like fried. All right, the last thing we're gonna do is just take this skin off. 
which we started at the top and you just go nice and easy and it actually comes off really easily and what I need to do is I need to figure out how to like process this to like preserve it especially if I get I mean imagine getting like one like twice this size or like a five or six foot timber rattler or even copperhead like man that'd be a beautiful skin I need to learn how to do this so I can uh, preserve the skin and I don't know, make something out of it or something. That'd be pretty cool. There you go. All we're left with is the snake meat, which admittedly isn't a ton on this little two footer, but enough to fry up. There you go. You see the Hershey markings there. Look like little Hershey's kisses. There's a telltale sign of a copperhead. Also those slitted cat-like eyes and that uh, that diamond-shaped head. Plus you can always get bit by one and when you start to swell up and you need to go to the hospital, you know, that's, that's always an, a, another good way of being able to determine if a snake is venomous or not. All right, y'all, it's the next day. I had a birthday party to go to, but we're back. Gonna cook this snake up. Here you go, just kept him in the fridge overnight. I'm drop him in there. Let's grab some of this Louisiana fish fry seafood breading. Dump a bunch in there. We grilled the last snake we caught, so we're gonna fry this one up. See if it does any better. People ask me all the time, they're like, does snake taste good? And I'm like, you know, it's good enough to where I wanna keep catching them. So, <laughs> yes, snake does taste pretty dang good in my opinion. At least this copperhead does. I'm still on the hunt for a timber rattler those things get massive man would love to get me one of those one day let's do that right there there we go i am over here let's get this oil heated up here we go let's see if that's hot enough looks like it all right one fried copperhead coming right up Sweet. They're still curling up there. Look at this, check it out. Like the neck is standing up looking at me. Even in death, this snake is still mad at me. That's fair. All right. I think this snake's done. Oh yeah, look at that golden brown. Hey look, it looks like a pretzel. Like a snake pretzel. That's awesome. <laughs> oh my, let's try a little deep fried snake here. We're dabbing this guy up a little salt and pepper. There we go. Oh boy, here we go. A little fried snake action here. I'm gonna just bite into it, I guess. We'll see if the frying kind of broke down the ribs or not. Actually it did. I took a big hunk out of the rib there. I had a few subscribers mention to me in my last snake video that frying would break down all the ribs and that definitely did like when I grilled it I had to like especially on a smaller snake kind of like pick through all the ribs which is obviously on a snake there are a lot of ribs on a snake um but the frying definitely like broke the bones down where like I'm not even feeling those ribs at all look at that big long strip of meat all fried up mm. oh yeah I like that crunchy friedness on that. Mmm. No, mm. there's more. The breading almost like clings to the meat. And then you could just kind of like tear the breading and the meat off. And it kind of peels it away from the bone. It's really convenient. That's a solid afternoon snack right there. Well, y'all, we got to get rid of a potentially dangerous threat. And we got to make a snack out of him. I would say it's a pretty good day's work. Wonder what other kind of adventures we're gonna have down in this creek. You never know what can pop up around little creeks here in the south. Kind of exciting. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see you in the next one.